up y'all welcome back to the channel in today's video i got another off-road adventure to take you guys along with me for but this time it's during the day <laughs> that's right as a result of one of my um viewers on one my last off-roading adventure requested that um you know i basically show him one for the day so that's going to be this video well, but first before we go any further i want to remind you guys to please continue to smash that like button subscribe Hit that notification bell. Make sure it's on all so that you get notified when I come out with these videos. I greatly appreciate it. So today I'm going to take you guys along with me uh, to one of my other spots that I like to frequent. And uh, this spot is uh, pretty treacherous in, in certain places. And in some other places, you know, it's a walk in the park. Uh, but it is somewhere that I definitely um, I frequent and I, and I like to go. And Bullet does just well, just fine. Uh, while driving on the beach right so why don't we get right into today's video all right well i got here during the night uh so decided not to record so i'm gonna record myself leaving just for that one viewer that uh made the suggestion of me recording during the day so here you go uh thanks to him
this path is by far one of the worst um, that I regularly encounter. Um, you really have to uh, drive through this thing with caution. Have really good tires and also um, maintain a low speed. Otherwise, you're going to be bouncing all over the place, which you're going to see in a moment. You can see how deep the ruts are because they actually cast a shadow. See now, having AT tires really helps with uh, not having the transmission struggle to get you to sand. I see fellow Explorer owners without AT tires and I just cringe because I know that they could get you to sand way easier if they had AT tires. And I just intentionally took the deepest rut of the path just to see how easily I will get through that. My previous vehicle, it was a struggle. Even to get through these whoop-de-whoops coming up here was the biggest struggle because I didn't have a lift kit, so I was lacking in ground clearance. So my CRV used to just bounce and drag the bottom on every bump. Maintaining a slow speed and just allowing your suspension, the tires, and the transmission, everything all work together to get through it. That's a dope Silverado and a Ram on the beach. That's the Great South Bay. All these people here are black fishing. Makes me wonder if they're catching now. As you can imagine, you really have to be careful about what time that you pick and choose to drive through here. Because uh, during high tide, that water will come right up to the ruts. So you really have to be careful. If you look ahead, there's a vehicle entering the path as I am exiting. He's displaying proper etiquette by moving all the way over to allow me to get off the path. I used to grit my teeth at each and every one of these hops with my previous vehicle. The Explorer handled it just fine. A little thank you wave as we go by. Well, all right, well, that's going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please continue to stay tuned to the channel. If you would like to uh, make any video suggestions, go ahead and do that in the comments below. All right, so please remember to have a blessed day and peace out.